You know, um, I think pretty much the same thing that's going through everybody's head. Um, never thought I'd make it this far. I definitely, I never thought I'd turn a chair. Never thought I'd win my battle. Didn't think I'd win my knockout. Well, I didn't win my knockout, so let me say that again. Um, didn't think I'd turn a chair, and I never thought I'd win my battle. Uh, so to make it this far, it's just, it's pretty surreal, you know. Um, well, actually, I was originally on Team CeeLo. Um, CeeLo was the only one who turned for me in my blind audition. And uh, last week at the knockouts, um, Johnny Gray, I went up against Johnny Gray, who's a great, great artist, and uh, he won the knockout, and Adam hit his button. And I was like, okay, cool, now I'm on Team Adam. And then Blake hit his button. So, uh, you know, I'm a huge Adam Levine fan. A uh, huge Maroon 5 fan, but Blake is so sincere when he speaks. You know, I don't know if he's just a good speaker in general or if he's just that sincere, but everything he was saying, I just knew, uh, you know, you, you got to go with your gut, and I knew that it was Blake. And um, so I'm really excited to be on his team. I mean, he's got a great track record. He definitely knows how to make a winner, and you know, he definitely knows what he's doing. So I think I fit perfectly on his team. Um, you know, I've I've been playing music uh, for a living for three or four years now, uh, consistently for three or four years, to where that's all I do. And but you know, I'm doing it on a very small scale for very small paychecks, and I want to get past that. You know, I, I see myself playing. You know, I just want to make music for anyone who wants to hear it, and whether that's a hundred people or whether it's a thousand or twenty thousand however many people that is, and I just want to make music my entire life, the rest of my life, that's what I want to do is make music and tour and sell records and produce records and write songs and that's all I've ever wanted to do, you know. I feel like I owe it to the little kid in me who stood up on fireplaces with fake guitars and pretended that there was a sea of people out there. I feel like I owe it to that little kid to be here and you know, take it as far as I can.